Rick, I wanted to talk to you about the video you made yesterday. I think a lot of people who may not have seen that, uh, just briefly touching on the difference between active stake and live stake, um, you know, just so I can kind of recap and maybe you can just elaborate a little bit on it. Uh, so active stake is what's going to be uh, used in order to determine the rewards for the pool. And I guess, uh, so live stake isn't necessarily uh, going to be effective until I guess 10 days, right? So two epochs is when you'll see the live stake kind of take effect. Is that, did I kind of understand that right? Yeah, I that's correct. I can explain that a little bit better. So uh, basically you have your active stake and that's the stake that the pool currently has with the current epoch making blocks. And live stake is how much they currently have delegated to in this point in time. And that live stake will get snapshotted at the end of the epoch and then skip one epoch and the blocks start being made based on that stake. Nice. All right. And so I'm think I'm glad I'm glad you're here to explain that the that kind of detail, Sam. And in addition to what Pratesh was asking, is that now uh, if you go to adapools.org and you, you look at what is the current active stake, the block production that you see for the current epic is based off the active stake, not the live stake. Yep. Okay. So make sure people, if, you, if you're looking at pool performance metrics, uh, I'm suggesting that you look at active stake versus block production and also consider that epics are five days long. So some of the pools with more modest amounts of stake, it might take two or three days before they generate a block. And then once they do, you know, you're doing, you're doing well, right? You're in good shape, but yeah, active stake, make sure you're looking at active when you compare it to block production so that you have a better idea of how that pool is performing, not the live stake, because we've seen pools jump from, they have like 19 million on, uh, active stake and they make a block or, or they didn't make a block and then people left and now it's down to 200,000, right? Right. And then they made a block based off of the 19 million. But so if you don't tie all the pieces together, you don't know how that pool actually performed. And the reason I point that out is it could be detrimental to the smaller pools, the pools of more modest stake amounts. If they don't create a block until three or four days into the epic, then delegators might start leaving, um, not looking at the actual stake amount, the active stake amount, right? So that's what I want to make sure is that the smaller pools don't get like penalized by losing delegates. Exactly. Uh, exactly. That. Yeah, so no, that's uh, that's good to clarify that. I know we don't give financial advice, but I would highly recommend that you only look at moving your delegations around every other epoch or so. See how you're doing, see how your rewards are looking see how that pool's performance is doing and then analyze. Don't go changing your delegations around daily. It really doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's right. And only because the one that counts is at the epic boundary, right, Sam? What, yep. Whatever, wherever it's at at the boundary. Yep. So, so if I change it today and I change it tomorrow, it doesn't matter, right? I'm just... Right. You just burn fees for no reason. Yeah. 